Hello everyone, so this is the seventh tutorial of the massing series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to model uh, this building. Uh, it is Diego Guzan Public Library designed by Vatican Architects. Uh, this building is actually may look very complex and very difficult to model. However, uh, it it is uh, not that difficult. Uh, there is only a small trick and I will show you how to model it. So we are going to start in the top view. Double click to maximize the top view. And let's use uh, the. So uh, we, we will start by uh, importing the ground floor plan to use it as a reference. You choose the picture and scale it. Then we are going to scale it uh, using a, a reference. So we are, we are going to use a scale 2D or 3D. And let's scale it from this point to this point, make it 1.5 meter. So select first point, second point, and then type 1.5 and press enter or right mouse click so now so we don't move it by mistake I'm going to place it here first and I'm going to lock the image now we'll start drawing the curves so as you can see uh, this uh, dash line represents the roof so we are going to start here I'm going to choose a, a layer the red layer to make to make the lines uh, clearer so double click here in the layer go here choose la choose layer from here and the double click in this uh, red one and start drawing so i will choose uh, the curve and draw something like this and right click to finish the command then select the curve again and select this point and move it to match the uh, dash line something like this and now let's draw this curve here choose this one draw a point here point here and a point here now select the curve again select this point and start adjusting it like this so now we are going to draw this line adjust the, the line and press tab so we're going to extend it a little bit this and another one here so this way i extended this curve and this curve and now i'm going to extend this one too so type extend select this curve right click then select this one here too uh, right click to bring the extend command again select this curve right click and select this one now let's trim this part type trim and select all the curves right click then Select the uh, curves to trim. So let's start drawing the remaining curves. So we'll have uh, another uh, line here. Right click to finish the command. Choose line again and draw a curve in here. And uh, we will need to draw uh, another curve in here. Something like this. Right click to finish the command and select the point and start adjusting it to match the reference plan then we are going to draw these curves so we are if you will start by drawing a reference line like this then select this one and choose a linear array so left click on this uh, arrow choose linear array we want to copy it one two three four five six times so type six Select object, right click, type 6. And we will actually need the 7. So click on the number and type 7. And adjust it, adjust it like this. So I need to draw a line here. Something like this. And copy this one. Also choose linear array and right click and copy it like this it's this one and draw just a line in here like this and select this one and copy it here and don't need to draw a curve here so select curve through point here and a point here right click select this one select this point and start adjusting it and another curve in here so select this one 
select this point point here and another point here right click just select the curve select the point and start adjusting the curve something like this so now that we have all our curves we will start moving the curves in 3d so double click to minimize the top view and double click to maximize the perspective so select these two curves and press f10 select these points and move it uh, 31 meter in the direction these two move it 31 meter like something like this maybe this point may need to move uh, down a little bit maybe move it move it down negative 8 meter and for this one select it from here and move it up 30 meter something like this and select this one select this point and type move and type vertical to move it vertically until it uh, uh, intersect with this curve select all this, these two curves together type F10 and select this point move it up uh, 4.5 okay uh, I just uh, realized that we need to extend this curve so type extend select the boundary curve right click and select the curve to extend then right click to the command so now we are going to create a sweep to rail between these two so let's choose uh, another layer let's choose the default one so the curves are in layer we can hide it or, or lock it whenever we want and choose another layer to create the surfaces so double click in the default layer to choose it so uh, to create a surface we are going to use uh, sweep to rail so type sweep choose sweep to rail or you can we can choose from surface tool select first rail second rail and then profile one and then profile two and then right click we will have our surface and for the surface in here we are going to uh, let's uh, duplicate this curve so copy it in in place so uh, if we uh, right click in the copy in this icon it will copy it in place uh, left click to copy and right click to copy object in place so now we copy it in place so we have two curves here I'm going to split one of them, select this curve, to split, right click and select the cutting object is this one. Now I'm going to create another surface using this curve and this one using loft. We can create it using loft or sweep sweep one rail. So this is uh, it's going to give us the same res result. So uh, right click, this is the one create using uh, loft. Let's create another one using sweep to rail, select rail one, rail two and profile so it's uh, exact exactly the same okay so to, to create the surface in here we are going to use sweep uh, to rail so type sweep to rail select this curve first rail second rail file one and profile two here we go so now uh, we will need to split the this object this part here maybe is something from here like this so I'm going to choose uh, this layer layer 01 again so we're going to split it maybe here in the midpoint and so I'm going to I will go to the wireframe to show the line so I'm going to use this curve to split it from here and another curve here to choose curve again and split it from here maybe So select the curve and click on this uh, white circle and choose align to object and extrude the curve in here like this. Extrude, move it here and press shift to extrude it to extrude it in post direction. Go to shaded view. Okay, let's first extrude this one too. Select it, extrude it like this. Type shift, hold shift to extrude in post direction. Now split or trim. Let's trim it. Choose this one, this one, right click. So they are the cutting object and choose this curve, this curve, this surface, I mean the surface, this one, this one, and right click. And here we go. 
maybe this one and uh, the curve here need to be down a little bit so let's draw another one here to use to split it let's extrude it the uh, hold shift it should view type trim select cutting object right click select this one this one right click so now we are going to create a surface in here so we will need to draw another line here so go to the top view and open the project so we don't snap in any object 3d object and draw a li another line here then double click double click here to maximize the view create a loft between this curve and this one type loft select this curve this curve and right click the default layer and now for these curves we are going to duplicate this edge too so copy it in, in place select the copy and right click so select all these curves and uh, let's isolate everything so let's come here and to isolate select all these curves extrude them and let's use this surface to split this curve let's type split select the curve right click select the surfaces and right click let's delete the surfaces and now we all we are going to use is loft so the type loft let's create a surface between this one and this one and right click to bring the command again and create a loft between this one this one and so on okay uh, make sure to do select the the the, the, the ends uh, in front of each other for example here if i select this end and then came here select this end it created this kind of a weird twist so press, press escape and right click to create it again select this end and select this end right click to create to, pre, to bring the command again and so on So uh, let's now view everything. So here we go. As you can see, uh, the surface here looked a little bit jacked. We can adjust this in the view by uh, adjusting the mesh review to uh, to higher quality. So here we go. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.